so Kevin, I hear you're working on a uh, dropper post today. I am. Um, as you can see here, this is a, a reverb remote lever, and it is the standard remote lever. This is what comes with every single reverb post since day one, since they were released. But I hear there's a cool new one. There is, and that's what this guy is here. This is the new reverb lever. And the idea of this guy is it allows you to mount it below, so this would be gone, but it allows you to mount it below the handlebar. So that would act more as if you had a front shifter. It actuates in the same exact direction. So you would actually pull it and that would engage and push. So it's versus like, having to reach up on top right. and so push that button. It's more ergo ergonomic right. uh, because of where it's located and you have better leverage because you're using your thumb pushing down instead of in. Yeah. Um, so this is great. You know, they, they've been talking about producing this for a long time and it kind of oh. solves uh, a lot of issues. But another big issue is, here, as you can see, this, this remote here is upside down. This is actually a right hand remote. So, you know, they didn't plan on this happening, but people actually figured out that there were better ergonomics by taking the right hand lever, putting it on the left and flipping it upside down. So they didn't expect that. People wanted something to be able to actuate with their thumb. And this was the answer here. And these can be added on to any reverb post, uh, new or old, external, internal, anything like that. So this is a perfect upgrade to any reverb uh, adjustable post. And is it pretty easy? Can somebody do it themselves or do they need to bring it into one of their, uh, to us or one of their local shops? I would say if you are comfortable with bleeding brakes, then it's, then it's something you could probably do. But uh, for the most part, because it does require a couple uh, extra attachments here, or one extra attachment, it's a good idea to actually bring it into us. Uh, unless you want to go out and buy a bleed kit and that sort of stuff. But by the time you end up paying for installation fee, it actually is end up cheaper than buying, you know, all the equipment to do yeah. it. So then you have an expert who's doing it all the time. Right. Install right. it and install properly. It's guaranteed. Right. And if you don't do it correctly, I mean, that thing's going to leak. It's not going to actuate properly. It has to be bled. There can't be any air in it. So it's really got to be done by by an expert or a professional. So great, awesome. Well, thanks so much. Have yeah. a great day working on everybody's bike. All right. Thanks.